please, please show us something good because after that leak, you're you, you got some you got some work to do, Rocksteady. You got some work to do. I see that statue in the back. Director at Rocksteady Studios. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. And it also doesn't bode well that Sefton Hill's not there anymore. this main. It is a third-person action shooter. Still coming on me. After the events of Batman Arkham Knight. Metropolis has been invaded, and you're going in as the Suicide Squad members, Harley Quinn, King Shark, Deadshot, and Captain Boomerang to face off against the ultimate threat, a corrupted Justice League. The team has been hard at work at creating the best possible game experience for our players, and we're very excited to share more as part of this state of play. Today, let's take a brief look at one of the missions in our game. The Flash has been corrupted by Brainiac, and as the Suicide Squad, you'll need to work together in up to four-player online co-op to stop the Flash, and rescue Lex Luthor in the process. Enjoy. See, this whole aesthetic with like the techno that's Lex. With like the techno music and the da -da 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 like that, and all the shootings, like that's Hold not what I sec. think Hello, when I think Brainiac? Rocksteady. Is it happening now? Great. You will have Luther ASAP. Good news! You want Luther, all you have to do is come and get him. I do like that Luther's got his green suit though. It's like how the hell is Luther gonna be able to hold his own out here? You know, I've mentioned this before, like, there's some games that when you see them, you go, oh, that looks cool. And then there's other games where I'm like, I'm just going to have to wait until I actually play it in hand. Because looking at it, it's not, it's not doing anything. And I hate to say it, but Suicide Squad is not the former. Here comes the heavy. It and it's same thing with like the graphics. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look all that great either. I'm not seeing a a next gen leap. Please don't be another Gotham Knights, please. Okay, that looked cool. <laughs> Boomerang's a little special there. That was actually pretty neat. And I have had always uh, a bit of a soft spot for those like heavy kind of guns that, yeah, they overheat and they're always going to probably overheat and they're probably not going to be the exception here, but I like the power that they deliver in certain games and it looks like King Shark's going to be the owner of that. And maybe Harley. Kind of doubt that a uh, wooden bat would actually <laughs> work like that towards an alien of that size.
Wait, so is he in there? Wow. Sleepyhead, we've got an interrogation to get back to. Hey. You think I'm just gonna let you walk away and tell these guys everything you know? <laughs> you think they can stop a, us? An evil flash is actually nothing to Aesthetic. screw around with. At least I'm not a big hero turned stooge for a spaceman. <laughs> okay, boomerang. You want to see <laughs> Was that an okay you boomer joke? <laughs> Buried in there? Yeah, see? That actually is a little frightening. Is he stuck in the oxygen? Oh. Flash. How do I stop this? Please. Tell me how. You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Diana's not not uh not infected. She's on our side. Ish. Suicide squad was that really 15 minutes? That wasn't 15 PS5, minutes. May 26th. That was like 10. Rocksteady oh, here we go. Even more to share today. Let's listen in. Okay. Are they just going to talk or... Okay. Show me what you got. They're dividing it. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is... Oh, well, there's... The, oh, see, look, it says founder. It doesn't say director. ...reframing the story and telling it from the villain's point of view. Where are we going and who are we killing? It's a mixture of lots of the things I hope the fans like about Rocksteady, but, like, a whole massive chunk of new stuff that we've never seen before. <laughs> we've always seen Batman's perspective on this world, and we thought it'd be really fun and enjoyable to see this universe, but through the eyes of the villains. We're picking up the story five years after the end of Arkham Knight, and a lot's changed in that time. Just checking. We're all seeing that thing, right? Brainiac has invaded Earth, and he's this huge threat overlooking Metropolis. He's taken over Metropolis City. The Justice League are there to try and save the city, but Brainiac has captured <laughs> and brainwashed them and turned them against the very people they've been sworn to protect. Oh, fuck, it's Superman! So, so this is M-rated, because he just said, <laughs> I didn't know, <laughs> he did say it. So this is going to be M-rated. I think it's pretty, uh, pretty obvious. With the sense that there's something wrong with them. They are now doing Brainiac's bidding, and Amanda Waller scrambles to try to uh, remedy this and essentially save the Earth. I like his outfit. And she recruits our four lovable characters into fighting the Justice League in an effort to reclaim the Earth and thwart Brainiac's plans. Your new mission now, is to kill. This Justice could be League. one of the strengths of the game Remember is that if we can actually or care or about the Suicide Squad prior to them going on to the mission, like this little, this stuff here, if they can nail that, okay, I'm, I'm probably going to be able to forgive any of the general aspects about the gameplay if I'm at least able to care, care, care about these characters. And, and trying to keep that momentum going and use that to go over buildings or swing under bridges and chain <laughs> She's got a whole statue. The grapple mechanic that she's got, it just feels spot on. I'm a freaking superstar. Deadshot has the iconic Deadshot look, but with a rock steady twist. He's got a real swagger to him. And in this game, he can Dude. cover with the <laughs> He's got the exaggerated swagger of a black man. <laughs> don't don't do that. Of course, you said that the only black, the only the the black man out of the team has the swag. Come on. 
as a person is. I know he didn't mean it like that, but it it the optics aren't great. Incredible character who's super well read and super well to do, and I'm sure could smash an operatic performance. Actually, I'm the son of a god. It is my shame to suffer mortals and their buffoonery. But also doesn't really know simple words or simple things that are going on. I think that's brilliant. In terms of combat, he is a brute. He is a, a tank character. He can take more damage. His abilities all lean into the fact that he wants to get in a bit more close and personal. He's the fastest melee character. Captain Boomerang's got his um, Speed Force Gauntlet that he can use together with his boomerang. He can throw it to any point in space and Speed Force. Looking at those uh, other gadgets to see if there's any Easter eggs. Can see any, except for like the batarang glider type thing. But that move is actually pretty dope. I actually like that. Don't worry, guys. I'm here. One of the most exciting I mean that. that connects our game to the DC lore are the support squad. Here's our widow. You have Penguin, the arm stealer. Is that Noi North? For us now, bird brain. But also some new faces. Hack who is a digital ghost that is helping the squad both navigate the world but also upgrade their mech bombs. That's a big adrenaline spike and a nice bomb sending out. This. Toy Man, who's helping the squad with perfecting gear. And then finally we have Gizmo. <laughs> They're Ant-Man. The <laughs> with insane vehicle creations that let you blow shit up. Metropolis is your playground. You're going to get to meet different characters, different villains, and you really get to see these cool, iconic locations. Being the city of tomorrow kind of like meant stark contrast with Gotham City, which is very dirty, it's always raining. And that contrast with like a city that's very grand, it's very clean, it's very functional. The huge difference between Metropolis and Gotham I is do that Metropolis really acknowledge and really trust Superman. So well, the thing is, is that, that th this is Metropolis, Superman. it's definitely a lot brighter. You're getting to see Metropolis through the villain's eyes. You're getting to experience... It definitely feels like Metropolis, while at the same time still having some aesthetic with, like, the fonts that are reminiscent of uh, Gotham. The core ability that everything wraps around in Suicide Squad is your traversal. How that works with combat is... Yeah, I can see it. Combat moves in terms of the art style, and that's cool. Moves. And the combat encounters are all designed to push and pull you around the environment in a battlefield that's constantly changing. Working out how to use all your different weapons, your guns, your melee attacks, and how to use them all to your best advantage to control the chaos and come out victorious. What's awesome about gunplay is the variety. So there's six core types of weapon families. We've got assault rifles, SMGs, sniper rifles, shotguns, miniguns. So it's intended to be, yeah, the miniguns. The miniguns are probably going to be my favorite, especially with someone like a tank like uh, King Shark, because then he's going to be able to take the damage while he's moving slow. Because almost miniguns always make you slower. We also have gear sets. The gear sets are villain themed. For example, gear sets. Here we go. And you trigger his box in they better address it. it if they bury it round, so under and like boom, Mumbo boom, Jumbo, and I'm gonna have really uh, some concerns. You all kind of effects. So you're basically taking the essence of the villain, you're bringing it into the game. Each character has a power level in the game that we call gear score. As you acquire new gear in the game, your gear score goes up. And as that number goes up, means you can take on much more missions. As part of this progression journey, you there it is. More more it's more official more now. More there it is. Battle Pass store. Really fit the way you want to play. Every firearm in our game is upgradable. So in Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, you're gonna get lots of choice to use the weapons that you need and to complete your missions. But most importantly, you will be able to squad <laughs> to be whatever you like. That doesn't look too bad. You can pretty much make him look like Ghost Rider. You can be running what around the your asylum jail outfit and still have like the best gear score. <laughs> okay. Our game is a one to four player co-op experience, which means that all the missions in the game have been designed to support solo play, playing with a friend, two friends, or three friends. For the single player fans, you can play in single player with bots filling in the role of the squad, so you still feel like you're part of a team, and you can switch them if you want. We try King Shark now, uh, or we can say, well, I think Harley will be a better fit for this mission. I'm going to switch over and we're going to try her out. But if you really want to tear it up, going in with a full group of four lets you experience the full mayhem the Suicide Squad has to offer. And you get to really experience the dynamics between how. I wonder if I can actually get some people together to play this co op by May. Because I'm usually a single player guy, that's the problem. All the fun is right here. When the story's done, your experience doesn't end there. Rocksteady will continue its legacy of supporting the game after it's launched. We yeah, you know who also said that? We're gonna have new playable characters, Square Enix with Avengers, I'm just saying. Who like to customize their looks, 
will offer a battle pass that only contains cosmetic items. There's just going to be so much for the players to enjoy. Just oh, they breezed through that. The they didn't cut to it. They didn't show it. They just said, yeah, there's going to be a battle pass with cosmetics. Anyways, there's going to be a lot. Co-op games, if you like customizing your characters, if you want to play as a badass, this game kind of has it all. It's very fast-paced. It's really colorful. It's loud and unapologetic and in your face, and it's going to be really, really fun. Hey, Metropolis. Do you like live executions? Well, don't touch that dial. <laughs> Or I'll break your fingers. I'm trying to like internally process exactly everything that was just showcased with this. And I do appreciate that they were able to kind of do it in two styles where they pretty much split it down the middle in the sense of doing the first half an actual deep dive into at least one of the missions of taking down that giant cannon and then the second is more so of the 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 usual you know stuff that you expect with the vertical slice of gameplay or at least you know portions of the gameplay spliced in with developers talking about what to expect with that said i am still worried i am still concerned i still have reservations considering again the battle pass the shooter mechanics uh, the shooting, in, like I said, I know I'm using this word a lot, inherently doesn't look bad. It's just that it just looks just kind of been there, done that. I don't know if there's any real... Turn off the screen here so that the blue doesn't just strike my face here. But I'm not seeing, in terms of the shooting, I'm not seeing anything that really makes either of the characters stand out from the other except for maybe King Shark because he's going to be able to handle those miniguns a little better because he's a tank. He's going to be able to take damage and move while moving slowly and not be compromised by that. It's once we get to maybe some finishers and specials that can maybe look a little different from character to character like Boomerang's little ch -ch 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 like that that kind of mimics a little bit of the Flash thus making him a good arch enemy for the Flash. And a good foil and that just stood out to me as okay that looked cool and interesting and fun uh, but then Har one of harley's finishers is taking down a giant alien with a simple wooden bat a little bit of suspension of disbelief and then king shark had a couple of little you know tossles here and there where he was pretty much giving some enemies the loki treatment where he was swinging them back and forth the one that sadly i feel got buried in the entirely in the entirety of the showcase with suicide squad game here is Deadshot. I mean, yeah, they mentioned that his cosmetics, he's got that iconic look. There was nothing about his gameplay that stood out to me as special. It was just him shooting, which of course is emblematic of the character. He's a perfect shot, but there has to be this like, oh, moment. And there was never that for, for Deadshot here. And because of that, he's not, again, none of this gameplay was able to sell me on Deadshot. If anything, I'll probably be maining Boomerang. He's the one that stands out to me because of that cool little finisher. Outside of that, taking back and looking at the grand picture of the gameplay, it, it I still have reservations because, like I said, it still has that over-the-shoulder static look that was reminiscent of the earlier, what was it, Wayfinders game that's going to be going into beta next week. And that it, it almost... You know, it, it it just kind of blends together. It, it just kind of blends together, and I'm I'm saddened by it because I just can't shake the feeling that this game may be meant to be something different. And somewhere along the process, causing the delay from last year into this year, was Warner Brothers saying, "People are liking that Fortnite. People are liking that one game. Make it like that." similar to what they probably have done with Gotham Knights. I am failing to see, especially when they were talking about this gear system, any kind of difference between that and Gotham. It just so hurts. It, it hurts to think that. But there were bright spots, specifically in the story, because like I said, there were pieces that showed them prior into going into the field where it looks like they're going to have some banter and some talks with each other. And as long as they were able to polish up a little bit on the humor that we've gotten in prior trailers that wasn't landing for me and at least deliver a little bit on the heart and on the likability of these villains, then you can sell it. I mean, I'm sorry if you're tired of hearing about him, but James Gunn was able to sell us on likable bad guys in the Suicide Squad movie. I love that movie, so it can be done. But if all we're getting is going to be getting that humor, which I didn't see any of this in the game, in any of the gameplay or any of the footage they showed here, 
But that's not to say that it still won't be there come the release time of the game in May. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully they're able to showcase a little bit more of the heart and the humanity of the characters. And that will at least will anchor me into carrying on with the game. But right now, I was hoping for something just a little bit more special. And it's still leaving me uh, desiring a bit more. But being that this channel focuses on all things Spider-Man and Batman, I will definitely be playing it day one, May 26th, and look forward to some form of content up from the game, whether it be Let's Plays, live streams, coverage, um, you know, best moments, compilations, shorts, and then of course, ultimately either a review or some kind of critical essay on the game, much like I did with Gotham Knights. And I'm hoping that you guys will be in for that ride because if I end up suffering, then I feel like some of you need to suffer with me. But at the same time, I'm praying, I'm legitimately hoping to God that I am wrong about this game. And it turns out to be a very pleasant surprise. What do you, what did you guys think of the gameplay showcase here on this state of play? Did it do it for you or did it not change your mind whatsoever? Because so far there's some things to extrapolate. And then there's others that I'm like, yep, it's I, those worries and those concerns are still there from before now i want to hear from you guys in the comments thank you guys for watching the video if you guys liked it hit the thumbs up if not hit the thumbs down subscribe for more batman and spider-man stuff and as always stay humble see you later